Hello and welcome to another vlog, vlog of Bubblegum Monsters. This is a vlog 10. 10. 10. 10. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, we released on Saturday our Game of Thrones tribute and it featured the return of Spot the Hand, which we had in a couple of our old videos. And by popular demand, this one's come back. Yeah, by, uh, this is uh, Ignald on the blog who suggested it again, so I think it was a good idea. It's been a while, we, went, we only did, did we only do the one? Or? No, we did two, I thought. Right, okay, yeah. But uh, we decided to bring it back because it was, I think it was good fun. It was bit. good fun. Um, so yeah, it's back in. Back in, except this time it's proper hard. Now we've had two or three entries on the um, spot the hand. None of them are right. The closing date's Sunday, so keep guessing, keep chucking them in. All the correct entries will be drawn out of a hat. But if we haven't had a correct entry by Sunday, it will remain open while the video is running, um, and it will be the first correct entry will win the t-shirt. Is yeah. that right? We agreed with that. Yeah. yeah okay. Um, so yes, yeah, it's, it's tough. And uh, talking about challenges, we want you to keep adding the challenges as well with the comments for the blog as well, because we can do the challenges. The first one was uh, Stuart eating chilies, or a chili. Yeah. And then the second one was me trying to break, <laughs> break the world record with Jaffa Cakes, which unfortunately I didn't manage to do. I was short by about nine, nine. <laughs> Jaffa Cakes. I think you should bring that back again. I think, because you had the wrong technique to begin with, yeah. I think you could do it again. I reckon I'll... Have we got well, you can have a go next time. You. Yeah, you're so confident. Uh, so, so yeah. Um, so keep the uh, keep the comments coming because uh, we've we seem to have a lot of eating ones, yeah. and eating challenges, which is good. Yeah. But um, be nice. I mean, obviously, there's a lot of different things you get us to do within limits. <gasps> but uh, yeah, if you keep them coming in, um, we can uh, get the variety going on the challenges as well. Um, the winner of our last. Uh, well, it was the uh, monthly winner, wasn't it? Of and the Bubblegum Monsters. Of the yeah. Bubblegum Monsters, yeah. So where you post a comment on any one of our videos and your entries go into a hat and we draw out the, uh, the winning one with Scudo Camper. Scudo Camper, yeah. And he's up on the banner now, isn't So he's up on the... I have to apologise to Scudo Camper because on Friday when I was putting it up on the banner I had somewhere to go so I quickly stuck up on the, uh, on the banner but I'd left the, uh, the last winner's name underneath uh, so that's now changed and it's all updated and I need to now send you across a nice high-res version of it and also a, um, version, a video of how we put it together which we are now going to show you guys of um, how we or how I go about yeah. sculpting the um, the monsters so uh, so yeah we'll have a little talk through it for it now and uh, hope, hopefully you enjoy it. Well obviously with a name like Scudo Camper you had to start off with a, a camper tot idea surely yeah well that was the thing I did. it was a bit difficult because obviously it was a mechanical th a camper van is a mechanical thing so it was like with these bubblegum monsters it was a bit like do I go with a vehicle or do I just go with some sort of monster but yeah, I, I just kind of had this general idea of of like a, a shell of a camper van or a scudo with some sort of monster features coming out of it, so that's that was kind of the basis to it. But to be honest, I was a little bit stuck on this one. I did think I had no idea where I'm going with this at all. So it took me a little while to get to get going on this one, which is why for the first few minutes on it, I was just kind of doodling. I was going to say that looks like something out of um, was it? Uh, I always think Beetlejuice. Yeah, you might be right. It might be. It's funny, isn't it? With um, stuff that you sort of come up with it's always there's something stuck in the back of your mind from somewhere it's always stuck from some film or book or something that you've seen nothing's ever original really but um, yeah I was just trying to shape out the bonnet here a bit because to be honest I didn't even know what a Scudo was I looked it up and um, I think it, it's a is it a Fiat but the bonnet was quite unique so I thought well if I get that kind of looking like the uh, the camper van uh, Scudo camper van shape then um, hopefully it will kind of come across that that's what it's meant to be. I mean, do you find you use a brush for a lot of your um, modelling or...? Yeah, I use it all the time. I find even for tools that it's not meant... It's, meant it's a sculpting package, but it's got some really good other tools for 3D as well, which I use it for. Um, so I'm always jumping in and out of it. Um, I'd like to use it more, uh, but 
a lot of my daytime job doesn't really um, need to use it that much so it's, it's good to do these because it just gives me that like, um, freedom to just go wild and create whatever I want. Now I mean obviously this is all on time lapse at the moment but uh, how long are you actually spending to, to, to create something like this? I think so far that it ranges um, this was the longest one just because I think it needed to look a little bit it wasn't all it obviously is organic but it wasn't an organic shape it's always hard to do sort of more mechanical shapes in ZBrush with, um, with with the sculpting tools anyway um, so this one took around I don't know it's hard to tell because I was kind of enjoying it so you just kind of get lost in time it was probably about 50 minutes to an hour I'd imagine um, I think this video is only about five minutes long so yeah so it was a it was a lot um, it was a lot quicker um, then if you're doing a detailed sculpt but still yeah I suppose yeah a good hour do, do you have any like reference material do you always just just literally what's on your mind only the camper van on this one no I don't usually have reference video in fact the last one with um, Scottish geek it was the uh, the whole the chat was it the chatter wasn't it from Hellraiser so I had that as reference um, but prod bear one was it was literally I just kind of thought well, it was kind of a bear shape but so I didn't use any reference for that but yeah other than the um, van I didn't have any any reference for this one it was just kind of going with the flow um, yeah so here I'm just kind of adding some <laughs> tentacle things and I just like the idea of, as if the like it was almost like sprouting like these limbs out of the wheels so the wheels had sort of been pushed out and ended up sort of on the floor and it's kind of lifted itself up um, for some reason it really reminded me of like do you remember the, 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 the real Ghostbusters? It just reminded me of one of the toys or something you'd get from there. Um, just this kind of like really bizarre, cartoony type monster. Or Scooby Doo or something. So look, for, me, for me, it was a bit of Beetlejuice, that worm. You know the worm which comes yeah, from yeah, Beetlejuice? And, uh, like tremors. Yeah, it was something along those lines. It was. It was yeah, I, thought, I think I, I sort of had this idea of the thing coming up through the bottom of the van and then and then, then like growing and it becoming part of the um, the monster. Um, it'd be quite cool actually to get a 3D printer, I think, and print these out. And then just like... I mean, if you could do it cheap enough, you could actually then, yeah, you could actually have that as a prize. But at the moment, it's a little bit out of our budget. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I think here I've just tidying stuff up a bit. I was just trying to add a few more details like for example on the Scudo van it's got a big bumper on the front so I was just kind of trying to exaggerate the uh, the, the sort of theme with the bumper around the front there um, and then I thought oh, it would be quite fun to have some teeth so I just added uh, some little sort of blunt teeth. I think it was here that I started thinking it looked like something like the Ghostbuster, the real Ghostbuster toys because I remember I had this one with this little, it was a policeman and you opened up his body and had teeth in it. <laughs> And then I'm adding some dribble here as well. I mean, because I, well, I, I know you're, you're quite a perfectionist as well. Um, at what point do you say, now do you know what, I'm happy with that? Yeah, with these it was, it was just chuck them together. Um, literally because obviously you don't want to be spending too much time on them, even though I like doing them and I want to sort of do the best I can for our um, winners. But at the same time, it's quite nice to have that progressive kind of organic um, artistic feel to it where you just just doing it for fun and not worrying about the details and just seeing what sort of pops into your head. A bit like when you're trying to imagine stuff and it's always popping into your head in and out, brainstorming. It's kind of like that rather than trying to make something perfect. Nice one, mate. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed that. And remember, you too can have your own unique I am a bubblegum monster displayed on that banner. All you simply have to do is just leave a comment on one of our videos. But you will have to still be a subscriber. I think that's it for this week. That's it. Yep. Yeah. See you next time. See you next time. Bye. Bye.